I'll be introducing our first speaker. Um, that's Danielle Perry from Mass Audubon, and she is going to be talking about protecting our future salt marshes, planning for sea level rise, and interactive learning for our community. Thank you, everyone. Um, yes, thanks, Evan. So as mentioned, I will be talking about how sea level rise is impacting salt marsh environments and some of the efforts that Mass Audubon is doing to, to help protect salt marshes from the effects of, of sea level rise. So first, just wanting to thank all of our partners that are involved with this project. Um, you can go to the next slide. And so these two projects focus on two different locations, one being our great uh, Mass Audubon's Great Neck Wildlife Sanctuary within Wareham, Massachusetts, and the other being at, um, an Al at Allen's Pond within Dartmouth, Massachusetts. And so one of the objectives of this project was to look at the overall land restoration plans of these locations and to then start planning on what types of mechanisms we want to utilize in order to offset some of the sea level rise effects of these two locations. And this having to do with implementing pilot projects that help to facilitate salt marsh migration because salt marsh migration is really the first um, response of salt marshes to, to, res, um, to respond and offset sea level rise impacts of being able to move more landward. And these pilot projects were revolved around infrastructure removal, so removing barriers to salt marsh migration that allows the marsh to move more landward and kind of escape the um, sea level rise as it's coming in, and also runnel implementation. So runnel, runneling is a type of climate adaptation strategy. It's, the, it's about a shallow um, channel that drains water impoundments that rest on the salt marsh surface as an effect of sea level rise. So these water impoundments um, kill off vegetation and they also help to promote salt marsh erosion and also the trans, um, trans, transformation of salt marshes into mud flat areas. So runnels help to drain these water impoundments and help to promote vegetation recolonization within these eroded areas. And aspiring and, to peace with all of uh -oh. <laughs> And also um, wanting to do habitat improvements for coastal upland areas. So being able to uh, make our upland areas more resilient to the effects of, of climate change and to help to promote salt marsh migration from um, improving our coastal upland areas. And also invasive species control because they also help to um, also create a barrier for my salt marsh migration, so wanting to remove invasive species. And then doing communication efforts throughout the project of being able to create nature-based solution workshops and those also utilizing our partnerships to share information. Next slide. So just wanting to show the locations of the two look of, of the two sites in Allen Pond and Dartmouth and Great Neck and Wareham. Next slide. So as mentioned before, for our Great Neck Wildlife Sanctuary, we're removing infrastructure that is in the way of salt marsh migration, which you can see in that bottom picture, which is a previous asphalt court. So removing that infrastructure because it's in the corridor of salt marsh migration to give pr prioritization for the marsh to move backwards and also doing things like ditch remediation and invasive control, as I mentioned before. And of course, outreach through educational signage. Next slide. And for Allen's Pond, again, creating corridors for salt marsh migration and being able to remove those, those stones, as you can see in the top picture, to for allow the salt marsh to move backwards and escape sea level rise. And the bottom picture shows those water impoundments that I described before to drain those water impoundments to help promote vegetation recolonization and salt marsh resilience. And of course, being able to bring folks to the site to learn more about the restoration work that we're doing. 